JP101 Production presents Chess, the Mathing Edition, with its very own custom piece set. Order your Mathing chessboard today. Hey guys, I want to talk about detentions. I got this golden circle. We're going to explain the why. What's the purpose of detentions? How do you get a detention? And what do you do if you get one? How do you serve it? So why serve your detention? Consequences can help children learn to make good choices and stick to boundaries. They can also help children develop emotional resilience and improve their ability to handle challenges. Each unserved, if you don't serve the detention, is equal to one participation point lost. At the end of the week, I will erase the board or my notebook and any detention that is erased is doubled. You start the semester with 100 participation points. Every 10 participation points lost is equal to 1% of your grade. And here's a big one. You must have 100%. That's right, 100 participation in order to turn in your late work. You can always earn those participation points back by completing uh, some stuff later on that I'm going to show you guys. So here's an example. I got my dad, William, my mom, Cheryl, my wife, Jen. They all start out with 100 points. And during their first week of school, William does nothing. Cheryl is using her AirPods and phone. Same thing with Jen. So they each receive one detention for each of those. Well, Cheryl served her detentions. And so at the end of the week, um, she doesn't owe any detentions. She didn't lose any participation points. All right, Jen here says, you know what? I got two detentions, but I'm not going to serve them. Well, it's the end of the week. We double them. Two times two is four. So she owes four detentions now. She lost four participation points. 100 minus four gives her 96. If you have a 100 when I check your late work, are you able to turn a late work? William can do it. Cheryl can do it. She served her detentions. But Jen's going to start stacking up. She cannot serve. She cannot turn a late work, but she has not served her detentions. So how do you receive attention? Looking at your smartwatch. Walking into class, your buds are in. Using your cell phone, playing video games in class. These are all things I saw last year. Watching a YouTube when you're allowed to use your Chromebook. You know, most of the time we're not using your Chromebooks, but if you have it out and I didn't allow you to, you get attention, texting in class. Hey, talking when you're not supposed to, putting on makeup or eating in class. How will you not receive a detention? If you tell me you have an emergency, tell me before class, come see me at the door. Hey, my mom's in the hospital. Hey guys, that happened last year. My mom was actually in the hospital in critical care. That happened, so please let me know. So if you get a phone call, then I'm gonna let you take that. If it's an emergency, things that are not an emergency or not an excuse is your mom, dad, or sibling is calling. I don't know what it is, okay? You know, my mom, dad, and my wife, my kids call me during class. I don't pick it up. I have to wait for it to be an emergency. How do I know it's an emergency? They'll call my classroom. It's not an excuse. You can't say, well, I need to figure out a ride or my work is calling. You need to figure those things out outside of class time. Okay, so how? How do you get a detention? Well, there's two things. Most likely phone, watch, electronic, earbuds, etc. What we learned from the past one. I like playing this game. It's called Marvel Puzzle Quest. And this guy, War Machine, he has something called a scam. So I have a superpower. My superpower is I am able to scan the room and I know when you're off task. Okay? I think you'll realize that I'm really good at this. When you get a detention, it affects two things. The individual and the class. The first time, you'll get a detention. And then the second time, you'll also get a detention, but most likely it's your phone. So I'll say, put your uh, phone in the cell phone parking lot. It's those numbered pockets in the back of the class, or turn it off and put it in your backpack. At the same time, so if you use your phone once, um, the class will also lose some privileges. So that's called my beep beep rule. We'll take a look at that. So here's the beep beep rule. You get, um, this is per class of so each period. And you'll know because I'll put a tally. So for that week, we'll usually take quizzes and tests on Fridays and we'll have a tally. If you guys get three beeps in a week, on one day, someone, three people are using their phones, you guys will lose the privilege of open notes for a quiz or a test. In a whole week, if you get five tallies, five lost privileges of, or five beeps, I call them, you'll, you can't use your formula sheet. All the formulas, how to do an equation, Seven, you guys will not be able to use, you lose the privilege of a calculator. Next assessment, if you get nine in a week, 
you get a graded pop quiz. As soon as I see someone using the phone for the ninth time in the week or earbud or something, I'll just say pop quiz, pull out a piece of paper. And if there's 11 of them, you'll lose the privilege of a partner group or a class assessment. Sometimes we take it as a whole class or a group of four or a partner, you'll lose that privilege. Okay, some questions and answers. How do you know you received detention? I'm gonna say your name and then you've got a detention. So I'll say like, hey, Brooklyn, you got your phone out, detention. Um, I'll say Kaya earbuds, detention. If you're a repeat offender, I'll use hand signals like in football or the Olympics, the referees will kind of show a hand signal. So you'll know what it is because you keep doing it. My goal is to keep teaching and not being distracted. How do you serve a detention? I got this list on the next slides and why should you serve them? Because if you don't serve them, it hurts your grade and you can't turn them anymore. Okay, what you need to do to clear a detention. You can pick any of these. So if you owe one, you can do a multiplication table. I'm gonna show you guys what it is. It's the most famous one. You can do this outside of class. You should not be doing in class. You can do it at lunchtime or at home. You can also do the old school. Just come with me before school, after school or lunchtime. You're not using electronics, you're not sleeping. You can attend one of my clubs, Rebel Surprise, Chess Club, Future Rebel Educators. You can give me an unused bathroom pass. Try to save them, there'll be extra credit. You can help clean up our campus. You can write a thank you card, letter, or email to an adult. Um, just include me on the email and I'll see it. Uh, you can write an essay in regards to your offense. So, for example, maybe it's respect. Um, then you can, there's a poster and you can check that out. Um, you can sit down with me and do a mock capstone interview. This is what seniors do. So that's pretty much like a 20 minute interview anyway. So I don't count that as a detention. Let's say you got like 10 detentions. You can copy something called the detention essay. You can go here to my website and click on that. Or if you have a lot, you can also attend Saturday Academy. It's my Saturday Academy session. And uh, every uh, every time you're there, every 20 minutes. It's All right, guys. So in front of the classroom here, you'll have this black tray. And down here, you'll pick up your multiplication tables <clears throat> when you're done with it. You're going to put in the top tray, it says detention, and this is what you need to do. You're going to fill out both sides of the multiplication table. You're going to multiply 9 times 9 is 81. Check first, make sure you don't owe any detentions. How do you know? You can look under your cadence under participation, or you can ask me about the detention book. You'll write your first name, last name, your period. Write the word detention. You can write what it was for, like gum, uh, ear pods, phone, uh, video game, something and then you put it back in that tray. Hope that was helpful, we'll see you guys. I'm a student really got me out here writing songs I know it's my fault for not turning my work in time It doesn't let you use your phone in class Might have to do some service to see who else had to do with this Might have to do some more multiple charge Just so I can get a detention Just don't get caught using your phone Cause you might have to observe more than one It's not like doing time in jail so So you might have to chill in class and play some chess though